Now to that disappointing report on inflation. Consumer prices in March were up 3.5 percent compared to a year ago, higher than expected. The report casting doubt on an interest rate cut in the near future. Here's ABC's Elizabeth Schulze. Tonight, Americans hoping to see the Federal Reserve cut interest rates as early as June may now have a longer wait, with inflation climbing for the third straight month. The prices is too high. The consumer price index up 3.5% in March from a year ago, fueled by higher costs for rent, car insurance, clothes, medical care, and gas. I used to fill it up for 35 bucks. It was a beautiful thing. And now it's now 45. It's 45, and sometimes it's 60 with between food and gas. Um, it's it had a big impact. At Alexandria Jones Vintage Shop in Chicago, rent just jumped from $1,400 to $1,800 a month. I have to do a sale. I have to bring people in just so I can be able to deal with what is, you know, the inevitable of my rent being $400 more than it was. To combat inflation, the Fed increased borrowing costs to a 22-year high, making it more expensive to pay for a new mortgage, car, or credit card debt. President Biden today pointing to inflation's improvement from 9% two years ago, still predicting an interest rate cut this year. This may delay it a month or so. I'm not sure of that. I don't, we don't know what the Fed is going to do for certain. With that first interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve had been expected in June, but after today's report, most analysts aren't predicting it will happen until September, and that's assuming that the inflation picture improves by then. Wit. All right, concerning news there. Elizabeth, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.